Recently, I did a review of the Master Air Screw props versus the OEM props on the DJI Air 2S and found the OEM props outperformed the Master Air Screw props during a collision. I also received motor error messages while flying the Master Air Screw props. If you're interested in taking a look at that video, I'll leave a link below. So, I thought I would try them out on the Mini 2 to see if they performed any better than they did on the Air 2S, or if I would get the same motor error messages. So, let's see how they did. Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Joe from Ghost 1917. When testing the Master Air Screw props against the OEM props on the Mini 2, I utilized the same methods as I did in the Air 2S testing. Although it's not a true scientific test, I still felt it was a fair representation of how the two props performed against each other. I set up my iPhone 13 Pro Max on a light stand about 5 feet off the ground and ran the decibel meter app while flying the Mini 2 at the same height and approximately 2 feet away. I recorded the sound using a lav mic connected directly to my Canon SL2, which is what I was shooting the footage with. Now during the Air 2S testing, I inadvertently crashed the drone into a metal cardinal, which resulted in the Master Air Screw prop sustaining significant damage. I had no intention of repeating that portion of the test on the Mini 2, but my guess is the props being of the same construction would most likely have sustained the same level of damage. And in fact, I've watched other videos where the Mini 2 props did sustain similar damage after a collision. When installing the props, I utilized the screws provided by Master Air Screw, as well as the included screwdriver. However, the screwdriver head on the enclosed screwdriver was slightly larger than the cutout in the screws, and after a couple of turns, the driver head began to strip, so I used my own screwdriver. The screwdriver provided by DJI works just fine, but being the tool snob that I am, I have my own set of jeweler's drivers, which I used. The prop swap out is pretty straightforward. Just remember to match the correct props to their respective motors. Two sets have the embossed lines and two are plain. And the motors have corresponding markings. Take your time lining up the threads and let the screw find its own way in because the last thing you want to do is cross thread the screw into the motor housing. There should be little to no resistance when threading the screws into the motor housing. Also, Remember to double check each screw once you have all the props mounted to ensure that they're fully seated. Initially, I planned on performing the testing outside just like I did with the Air 2S, but I noticed the Mini 2 was drifting quite a bit, which I attributed to the windy conditions and moved the testing inside to a more controlled environment. You can see how windy it was by the swaying shrubs in the background. After moving inside, I again performed the hovering and climbing sound level tests on both sets of props. Here's some side-by-side -side footage for you to listen to to hear the difference in sound between the two sets of props for yourself. During the testing, I noticed significant vertical drifting taking place when flying the Master Air Screw props. You can see in the video that at one point, the Mini 2 dropped approximately one foot. The OEM props drifted slightly, but the Master Air Screw props had a significant drift. I was sure not to be touching the sticks during this phase of testing so as not to introduce any movement into the aircraft's flight but clearly while hovering, the Mini 2 drifted significantly when flying the Master Air Screw props. I repeated this test several times with the same results. After completing the sound level test, I moved outside again and performed the same side-by-side, up-down, and yaw movements as I did with the Air 2S testing. And I didn't receive any motor error messages and the Mini 2 seemed to perform well. I will say, when flying the Mini 2 indoors, the OEM props felt a tad more responsive to my joystick input. 
This wasn't as noticeable outdoors where the movements are much wider. This time I thought I would also perform a speed test between the two props. So I ran up to around 200 feet and then accelerated full throttle horizontally in sport mode for approximately a quarter of a mile. The winds were 10 miles per hour from the north with gusts to 19 miles per hour. I ran first from north to south with the wind and then from south to north against the wind. I flew the exact same path when switching between the props. Here are the results of the speed test. The master air screw props ran up to a max speed of 17.9 miles per hour with the wind and 14.1 miles per hour against the wind. The OEM props ran up to a max speed of 18.1 miles per hour with the wind and 15.1 miles per hour against the wind. So although the OEM props ran only slightly better with the wind, they seemed to handle running into the wind better than the master air screw props running one mile per hour faster. Although the master air screw props fared better on the Mini 2 than they did on the Air 2S, I still don't see a reason to choose them over the OEM props. The difference in pitch is negligible and the actual decibel level is relatively the same between the two props with the master air screw props average decibel level actually coming in 1 dB higher than the OEM props. My conclusion after testing the master air screw props on the Mini 2 is much the same as after the Air 2S testing. I most likely won't be flying anything other than the OEM props on the Mini 2. I'd like to give a special thanks to my future son-in-law Dylan, who was gracious and trusting enough to let me borrow his Mini 2 for this testing video. Hopefully it's not too long before the Mini 3 Pro is out and we get a nice price reduction on the Mini 2, in which case I'll be picking one up for myself. As always, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments section below if you've tried the Master Air Screw Props on your Mini 2 and what your opinions and experiences are. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.